I think things will become more personalised. Um, you know, location is one thing that we, you know, we're, we're in at the foothills of uh, about how, uh, you know, as you carry your device around, um, your information can be personalised around your location. The whole way that Twitter and Facebook use is about personal recommendations and personal preferences. Um, I don't think it's going to be a completely linear line. I don't think it's going to be a sort of rush to all personalization. I mean, we probably will build products in which you can filter out everything else and substitute your own judgment and cut out all the stuff so that you just have the core guardian that you're interested in. And some people will want that. You know, some people will want the, the three-minute guardian because they have a three-minute commute or a 17-minute guardian, or they won't want sport, or they'll, they'll want to personalize it. But I still think there is a guardianessness about the Guardian uh, in which people say, well, uh, actually, I like being challenged by a newspaper. I like um, the, the known unknowns or the unknown knowns or whatever it was yeah. that Donald Rumsfeld said. Uh, and th there is a sort of hierarchy of news that comes with a newspaper in which they may be telling, telling me things that I ought to know that I don't know about. Um, so I think there's always going to be this tension between um, uh, people who want to close down their options, have a more personalized version, and people who want to be challenged. Or maybe it's the same person, but at one time of day they want one experience, and at another time of day they want a different kind of experience. And so the, the technological challenge is how you do that.